Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about filters in ASP.NET Core MVC. Let's start. First of all, let's have a look what are the filters in ASP.NET Core. Filters in ASP.NET Core are used to run some logic. Logic means some code at a specific stage of the request pipeline. What is a request pipeline? When a request comes from the browser, then it travels through a couple of stages on your server. First, it checks all the middlewares, then it goes to the controller, action method, and then the views. Now, in this pipeline, if you want to execute some code at a particular place, then you can use filters in ASP.NET Core. Examples, suppose you want to run some logic before hitting the action method. Another example, suppose you want to run some logic after creating the result. This place of execution depends on your logic and requirement. Now let's see what all filters are available in ASP.NET Core. First filter is authorization filter. Second is resource filter, action filter, exception filter. And the last one is result filter. In ASP.NET Core, there are five filters. Now let's discuss all these filters in detail one by one. Let's talk about authorization filter. Authorization filter runs first among all the filters. Authorization filter is used to validate whether a user is valid or it has all the permissions required to access a particular resource or action method. The filter is used to validate whether the user is authorized for the request or not. If user is authorized, then the request will continue. If there is some problem or the user is not authorized, then it will return directly from this authorization filter. And this is the reason that this authorization filter run at the first among all the filters. Then we have resource filter. Resource filter run after the authorization filter. So once request travels from authorization filter, then we have resource filter. And in this resource filter, we have two methods. The first method is own resource executing and own resource executed. The execution of this resource filter depends on the method that you have used in this particular filter. If you are writing your code in own resource executing, then it will run after the authorization filter and before any other filter in ASP.NET Core. Now, suppose you are writing your code in this own resource executed method, then it will run after the rest of the application pipeline completed. In this scenario, we cannot say that the resource filter will execute after authorization and before any other filter. No, if you are using own resource executed, then before executing this method, all other filters will get executed in your pipeline and this method will run at the last. Now we have action filter. Action filter runs after the resource filter. Action filter also has two methods own action executing and own action executed. Again, the execution of this action filter depends on the logic that you have written in one of these methods. If you have written the code in own action executing, then it will run before the action method is called. If you are writing your code in own action executed, then it will run after the action method is completed. Then we have exception filter. Exception filter execute for the exceptions before they are written to the response body. By using this filter, we can handle all the exceptions in ASP.NET Core except authorization. Because if there is some problem in the authorization, suppose we are handling some exception in ASP.NET Core and we want to handle that exception by using the exception filter, then this will not work in authorization filter. Why? Because if there is some problem, in authorization filter then the request will return from that place and the execution of exception is after the authorization filter so the exception will not come in pipeline and that is the reason that this exception filter cannot handle the exception that are generated in authorization filter at the last we have result filter the result runs immediately before and after the execution of action method. So if you are returning some data from your action method, then this is the time that it is creating a result. So this result filter will get executed before and after the execution. And again, the before and after depends on the method. 
result filter runs only if the action method has executed successfully if there is some exception or problem in this action method then this result filter will not work suppose you want to load the result of a particular action method in asp.net core then in that scenario you can create a result filter and if the execution of action method is successful then you will see the value in result filter here is the diagram of the execution of all the filters here i have written all the filters this is authorization filter resource then after the resource filter there will be model binding what is model binding whatever data you are passing in your request whether in url body header etc the model binding is used to bind that data from that request to the object or parameters that you have used in your action method then after the model binding there will be action filters then exception and the result the request is coming from here then at this place if the authorization filter is successful then the request will travel to the next filter if there is some problem in the authorization filter or we can say the user is not authorized then the result will be generated from this filter the request will not travel to the resource filters now suppose the authorization filter is successful then we have the resource filter and remember we have already discussed that in resource filters there are two methods on executing and on executed so this is the place for on executing this one and here is the place for on executed if you have written the logic in on executing then this one will get execute and then the rest of pipeline will be executed if you have written some code in own action executed then the request will travel from all the filters and then it will come over here and then at the last the code that we have written in own resource executed that will get execute similarly for the action filters we have two methods if we are writing some code in on executing then that one will get execute at this place if we are writing some logic in on action executed then that code will run after the exception filter result filter so this is how it works now where can we use the filters in asp.net core filters in asp.net core mvc can be applied at one of three scope suppose i want to use my action method on one single action method or couple of action methods then i can use them directly on these action methods and it will work if i'm using the filter on a controller level then this filter will work for all the action methods that are available under this controller the last is global if you are using your filter at the global level then this will be applicable for all the action methods that you have used in your entire project so based on your requirement you can use this filter at any of these place in asp.net core there are some inbuilt filters you can also create custom filters based on your requirement you can create custom filters for all these five filters that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day